We've all heard the term, I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Well, this chicken, this special little chicken ran around for 18 months after. And this is this is real, ladies and gentlemen. This is a real story. It's a crazy story. It's probably like a once in a lifetime type story, maybe. I don't know. Chickens, you know, are known for running around after they get their head cut off. The chicken's name was Mike. And Mike was a Wyan Doty chicken. It was supposed to be dinner, but life had other plans for him. Mike's owner, Lloyd Olson, had Mike ready for ex execution. Chicken Run style. If you guys haven't seen Chicken Run, it's a great movie. Watch it. It's fucking amazing. Olson took his axe and cut Mike's head off, but he missed a couple pieces. Sounds kind of nasty, but he missed a couple pieces. Olson missed the jugular vein, an ear, and most of the brain stem. Now you're probably thinking this shit's gotta be fake cause that's what I thought, but no, it's 100% real. He actually lived 18 months after. I looked it up, I was like, could humans live after? And no, we have like one to two seconds left, but chickens, since they're like immortal, 18 months. And you're also probably thinking like, how, how did he not bleed out? Well, because a, a clot formed, preventing him from bleeding out. And Mike was fed with an eyedropper straight, th uh, straight to the throat, cause he had no mouth, you know? So like pretend you don't have a head, you know, just, They'll just drop it into his throat. They would feed him like a mixture of water and milk with corn and worms. And that boy was set, dude. That's all he needed, you know? He also didn't have any problems living like a regular chicken because I guess in birds, the brainstem, it controls like the majority of the animal. He lived life like a regular chicken is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, he lived 18 months, but the thing is that he would have lived longer if he didn't choke on a piece of corn. And that is how he died. He choked on a piece of corn outside of a motel in Phoenix, Arizona while he was on tour. Um, oh yeah, he was on tour. He had a whole tour like of the US because everybody wanted to go see the chicken, you know, the chicken with its head cut off. Everybody, he, he was a phenomenon, bro. And a lot of artists nowadays don't even get a tour, bro. But a chicken, pff, say less, say less, dude. Bring me that little Popeye's chicken over here, son. And they were, they were making Bank, dude. They were making four thousand five hundred dollars a month in nineteen forties. Those four thousand five hundred were are equivalent to now fifty two thousand dollars. No, yeah, fifty two thousand dollars a month. So they were balling like 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 nothing, dude. That's crazy. Fifty two thousand dollars a month. Imagine making that a, a month. You know, some some people make that a year, and they're making that shit a month. Just a chicken without its head. Crazy. And it's it's kind of it's kind of funny, kind of creepy, I guess. Uh, when they were on a tour, they obviously had Mike, you know, on a little, on a little stool, a little pedestal, everybody would go see him. And then they also had his little head just hanging out there. But the legacy of Mike lives on to this day. Every May in Fruta, Colorado, they have a Mike the Headless Chicken Day. And they have a, a 5K run like a chicken without its head. Uh, they have an egg toss. They have a pin the head on the chicken. It's funny, man. It's crazy. The legacy lives on, dude. But yeah, that just pretty much goes to show that chickens are way more superior than humans. That's just the way it is, bro. Natural natural selection, you know? We just came out a little faulty, and then they came out, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got a question for you guys. What type of chicken do you guys like better? KFC or Popeyes or whatever? Let me know. Church's chicken, any of that. Put it down in the comments below, dude. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all are the best. See you on the next one. This one was kind of short, I know, but, you know, life, you know. Um, I have another video coming out later this week. It's going to be dope as fuck. Peace out. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't be a bitch to people. Peace out.